to week break again. Hopefully, every hopefully everyone's well rested and remembers what we did last week because I didn't. Nope. What we did two weeks ago, I mean. We uh, broke into prison and uh, freed John Crichton. Ah, now I remember. We also freed a like a jewel heister, a jewel thief of some kind who wasn't of much use, and she was rather arrogant given the circumstances, but. Eh, whatever, she was a named character, we let her go. Because of probably, the nefarious reasons. Probably should have just shot her. <laughs> uh, so yes, was... we, uh, we uh, rescued John Crichton so that we could get the payment for the Tabana gas. Mm -hmm. That way uh, we would not have to endure the the ravages of the increased obligation that would come from an even angrier hut whose money we had not to mention the jewel of Yavin mm -hmm. not to mention then fucking off with his Devana gas but we resolved that situation and we instead were, we now somehow have to figure out how to pay him like Jordan, without getting ourselves killed Jordan told us at the end of last session that the uh party is going to be getting basically a total of 10,000 credits. That's going to be our cut of all of the money that we Right, got but we're also the holding the 90,000 that has to be delivered to right. him. Right. We picked up, basically, uh, Jordan had us in, like, this nebulous sort of thing. Like, we were going to leave Yarhadul, and we were sort of, like, we left that, and mm -hmm. we were going to pick up next session in our Some, ship, I guess. Yeah, so basically, I, I kept everyone's characters on. I kept the maps with the r and all this stuff, because I didn't know if everyone had updated their characters on the ship. So that's why they're there. Basically, this is going to be taking place a cut like two, one to two weeks after everything's been done. So you've paid Kalth of the Hut and all that stuff. So Sweet. How does my microphone sound? Crappy. Get out of here. You uh, you sound well, Aaron. You are not okay. blowing off my eardrums. I consider this an improvement. I don't. <laughs> I got a new headset. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm expecting uh, videos for this hobby on your channel now, Aaron. What hobby? This hobby. This hobby that, you know, we share. Yes. Unless um, tabletopping is like a way of life for you. Uh, it's a religion. Oh, well then I expect you to record videos about your religion. To promote it's uh, not, freedom. It's not a proselytizing one. Oh, well then don't you want to share it with others? No, it's not proselytizing. You Don't you want to share it with others? Mm -mm. There are a finite number of slots into the afterlife. Oh. So it's part of my faith... To screw over other people. Oh, I'm back. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ma maximize your chance to get into the afterlife. Okay, it mm -hmm. makes sense now. Yeah. So, so, like I said, us. Like I said, non proselytizing. So maybe record videos about your false religion, in which case, not table topping to mm. throw off other people. There's now, there's an idea. Yes. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll record videos about going outside. For those of you. Who God. For those of you who just got here, I think that's Aaron and Chris. This game is this game is actually taking place two weeks after the end of your prison break, so all that nebulous stuff of you guys escaping, paying off Calfell the Hut, that's all happened. All right. It happened off screen, don't worry. It happened off screen, it happened between movies, we're good. We managed to uh, successfully contact Calfo and get him his money so that our obligation did not increase. I call that a victory for us, one of the few that we've had. Yeah, actually, victory lap. Not on fire. I think yeah. I think also Calso put in because he considered you guys doing good job because he apparently still doesn't know that you stole the Karuska gem or ripped him off. Yeah, keep it going. So he thinks so. He's like, you guys did a good job. You guys did. You guys went and above and be above and beyond the call of duty. So he's going to put in a good word with other huts. So mm -hmm. I think I said Grimith, your obligation was being yeah, lowered by ten. I, yeah, I uh, I took care of that. Mm -hmm. A good word with other huts. Sounds yes. just as bad as being in their bad graces. So basically everyone can start up uh, fully healed, fully everything back up on the ship, and we can get away from this planet with John Crichton forever hey, and, never come, and never come back. Hey, I actually consider this a victory then. I mean, uh, if, if the hut 
if Calfo doesn't think that we're the ones who stole the Jewel of Yavin, then we're golden, right? Gold. Absolutely. Nothing could possibly make him think otherwise. It's not yeah, like honestly, anybody else might know. That it might be considerably it. gold. Yeah, you you uh, mentioned finally succeeding, but I remember a lot of successes. Just all of them also came with failures. Okay, I, and this is mostly for uh, mm. just to as an reca is just a recap of what happened. The plan, uh, the planet did go through a period of insurrection. There seems to be a basically a civil war happening on the planet now between the rebellion allied insurrectionists. Basically, the explodey people are going to the rebellion, and the semi legitimate government going to the imperials. That sounds like a personal problem. Uh, yeah. Yep. We've, uh, we've helped both sides out. Uh, I'd like to congratulate us for helping out both sides over the course mm -hmm. of this campaign. Mm -hmm. anyway. We're good people. We help out whoever. We help everyone out. We're, We're good people. people. <laughs> we equally <laughs> fail everybody we encounter. Okay, and as a result, as a result, Eliza will tell uh, Lana that she will be staying behind because this plant needs her more than you do, or you guys do. But when you need fine, be that way. But when you but when you need me but when you need me most, she will be there somehow. Uh, because, I don't believe you because you're not my real mom. That's creepy. Uh, when you need me most, I'll be there. Fucking old people, <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh. Anyway. Anyways, anyways, it's anyways. It's two weeks later. Where do you guys think you would head after leaving Yarnum? Just anywhere. Just pick a place. Strip club. Let's see. Is, do we have anything else we need to liquidate? Uh, well, I mean, since you mention it, there are those protocol droid chassis with the parts. Astromech droids. Astromech, god damn it. Same thing. That's not the first time I've done that. <laughs> I feel okay, like fine. I've said that before. All drones are the same to you. We get so, it. So yeah, we need to offload some Astromechs. And, uh... Yeah, during that, during that two-week during that two -week period, the first tranche of your Bespin fund comes in. Nice. I forget how much that is. Let's just say Wait. it's probably... Uh, it's some? You guys ended up getting... I remember being like 20 grand or something. You guys know that the that twenty grand was for the the swoop oh, bike race or whatever. Think you say so. I'll figure it out. I'll go look into my record likes. But I, you guys have money again. All right. On top of the ten thousand just got as well. Well, the the sort of obligation that we had to do uh, to deliver the money to Caltho was resolved. I, I didn't know going into this session that we would have, like, free reign to think about where we could go. Otherwise, I might have put some thought into that. <laughs> oh, I have some things planned. I'm just like, you guys have free reign for a while now. Ah, hmm. uh, well, if we could get the fuck away from HUD space, I'd be cool from that for that. I don't know where yeah. the fuck away from HUD space, but I'd consider oh. that a win. Yeah, actually, um... Jay's also interested in getting somewhere that has, you know, decent availability of goods since we're currently flush with cash. Hey guys, you want to go back to Cloud City? Fuck <laughs> no. I mean, there's this nope, guy too bad. there. I'm the pilot. We're going to Cloud City. <laughs> there's this guy there who's causing havoc for us, and like he's like he's like after he's us. He's bad mousing you and stuff. I've uh, heard I, nothing but good things about that Lando guy. I, I mean, you know. But Mr. Actually, Shit. now that you mention it, let's fucking murder Aaron Shen. No? Eh? I mean, the problem with that is our best opportunity to do that was on Cloud City. My suggestion was a joke because I can't imagine this same ship being able to dock at the Cloud City spaceport, no problem. We'll just oh, we'd paint be it. They all look the same. Yeah, I mean, that's like saying, oh no, how are we going to get this... Uh, I don't know, old ass piece of shit car through customs. Uh, we would have to change like our IFF, like we did to that Imperial destroyer, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is we already know how to do it. Uh, well, I do recall a number of red dice being involved in that transaction. <laughs> I am not comfortable with. <laughs> I'm hearing no, and I need to hear more yes. <laughs> It's a service that we can have done at any sufficiently criminal 
location. I, I do regret now mentioning Cloud City. I would Roman, like to press the undo just... button. Can I press the undo <laughs> button? Control Z. <laughs> it cannot be unspoken. It's just like there's like a little arrow there that's pointing backwards at the top of my screen. Can I click it? <laughs> If you guys want to go back to Cloud City, it'll probably take you guys a good week to get there. Four to five. Four well, days no. at the low end, five days at the high end, basically. I, it, before it, we ever go back to Cloud City, if we ever go back to Cloud City, we'd still need to uh, resupply, get our uh, IFF changed, and shit like that. Oh, shit, it's going to take a week. That just ruins everything. We can't go. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> New plan. Uh... I mean, we can at least head from Hut Space towards, I guess, the core to get us away from uh, being out here in the bumfuck middle of nowhere. Yeah, I'd be and fine with that. Uh, go ahead. I, I, like, I don't have like a specific destination in mind. Just fly towards the core, uh, see if there's any more fallout from all of the things that are apparently hunting everyone. Hmm. We're fine. I mean, that's a plan. I mean, going directly toward going into the core. Uh, you got places like Corellia. You've got Duro again that you can go to. I mean, you haven't burnt bridges there. You got other places. Let me look at the map because I don't. I honestly have no fucking clue what's in the core besides Coruscant. I hear there's a planet with space weasels. Uh, that doesn't exist. No, there isn't. That's uh, a myth. Uh, there's Kuat. There's a uh, Fondor. Yeah, basically just. Pick a place and you go there. The lost city of space, Weasley. Well, the Coruscant seems just as uh, reasonable as anything for the time being, just to get us on the core, so that uh, as as we would hope, like you know, the droid. I mean, it has in. core in its name. It just makes sense. You know, Actually, Coruscant does have a vibrant underbelly, even in the rebellion era. I mean, like, like obviously, you want to be in a prime location where you can get the things that you want. And being in the core would give you access to the things you want. Because we obviously can't go to HUD space. I don't think Nar Shadda is an option for my character, so... Oh, fuck no, I, I don't... <laughs> that, no. That's a bad choice. Yes. Dude, he just put in a good word for us. You know, I don't trust HUD, HUD, what anything a HUD says, good or bad. Especially good. You'll never get anywhere in hut space with an attitude like that. I, you know, I'm okay with never getting anywhere in hut space. <laughs> if my reputation could level out to zero, I'd be okay with that. Uh, at any rate, uh, exactly. So yes, yeah, so, <laughs> some sort of, of the goal, some sort of like major like trade world in the core, so that Jay can get access to whatever he might want, and anyone else can like look into whatever purchasing that they might want to do. Uh, as we're accruing our credits, and then we can just survey the situation from there. We haven't had any downtime of sorts where we could actually pick and choose our destination, so it might be a change of pace, and if a job or opportunity comes up along the way, then we'll pursue it here on the Jack's Revenge. Hypothetically. Okay. Do so, you folks have a better suggestion? Then nope, no. ship it. Okay. Sounds like an idea. Just, you know, okay, so you guys uh, are heading to Coruscant. Seat of the Empire. Yes. He's not We're there. I'm, I'm looking for some uh, pamphlets. Uh, there's, 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 there's pamphlets aplenty in there. There's uh, quite a few people. Sweet. There's uh, quite a few organizations and... And for once, Customs is surprisingly easy to go through. Nice. It's almost, it's almost as if you guys aren't actually, you know, smuggling anything. Huh. And your ship is actually, you know, registered to you. Damn it, we're failures. Fuck. <laughs> what kind of, what? Oh, God. Well, like, so we are complete shit. failures. This fucking campaign setting is named Edge of the Empire. We're in fucking Coruscant. It's so <laughs> <laughs> fine. Don't worry. All right. Anyways, it took you guys around three days to get to Coruscant, so this is where you have around eleven days to do whatever the fuck you want. So, if you guys want to do buying of stuff now, I mean, Coruscant is a core world, so I think that lowers the rarity or whatever the availability by one, and it's on a major trade lane, so it lowers it again. Stuff's quite available here. Well, it's been like yeah. a month. It's actually been like two sessions since we did a major. Trades. I don't think I have anything to pursue. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm just going to say the first tranche of money you got back is 50,000 credits, so just whatever. Okay. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm not wrong, I'm wrong. All right. Well, Jay wants to get a hold of some of that laminate again. Right. Try to get a hold, rather. Yeah, he would have to get a hold of it the first time to get it again. All right. <laughs> All right. Anyways, you guys are going to have roughly five days. You guys are going to, let's see here, since you guys actually went to the planet I wanted you to go to, I was going to leave it wide open. Sweet. You, you guys are going to have five days to do whatever you want, and after that day, you're actually going to be contacted by someone about something. Okay. So, so we, each, we each get 10k and 10 to the ship, is that correct? I will, uh, we actually each get, uh, once we factor in the money that we got from Calpha the Hut, everyone gets 12,000 credits, including the ship. The ship spends it on hookers and glow. The ship's fucking flush. Yes, the ship credit count is currently 29,025. There's always money in I the ship. I think we should, uh, we should... You know, dock in port and divvy up the plunder. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying now if you if now if you wanted to get like a massive refit on the uh, ship, now would probably be a good time to do so. All right, uh, Ryan, Aaron, I think you were the two of any of us who like looked into stuff for the ship. So we all get twelve thousand more wing wings. Yes. Twelve thousand. Wow. <laughs> Look, we successfully stole the jewel of Yavin. Yeah, no, no. I, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I'm not arguing. I'm just and, wow. And fucking Chris managed to hack into the damn Cloud City bank account and steal money from a hut. Sure did. And Could've the guy through. who was part of the Empire, who had this gem. I'm sure that won't come back to bite us. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> We're fine, guys. Come on. Guy. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Don't um, mind me just making just making senator pictures. Okay. And having way see. too much fun with it. No so what, what rarity can we go up to without having to make a roll while we're here? Uh, that the thing is, it would, anything... I need to look at the... Uh, Let's see here. Rarity modifiers. Uh, yes. Primary core world such as Coruscant has a specific minus two to it. Uh, and you said this might be like a... I don't so, know whether that factors in the trade lane stuff or it's not. In, uh, Coruscant's on the major trade lane. All right, so uh, that would... I don't know whether that would be a minus three then or whether that's already factored into the rarity modifier that it's on a trade lane. Uh... Let's just say it's an. Let's just say it's an additional minus three. Okay, so minus three means that uh, you could go up to rarity four and not have to, like, make a roll, Aaron. Okay. In that case, I'm going to start by buying two superior weapon customizations. Okay. That's ten thousand credits, right? That is ten thousand credits. Hopefully these don't fuck up. Hopefully, hopefully the installation of these don't fuck up. Now you can't fail that. There is no installation for these. The modifications that you can fuck up. Yep, and there are no modifications for this. What are you going to be installing those into? The hand spike and the uh, wrist laser. Okay. You have the hard points for that, I assume. I have a yeah. Yep, I've got all this planned out. Nice. I have just the hard points for those. I can tell Grimith has been DMing again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Your right. entire mindset, the way you see things, has changed again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's right. I'm, I'm back to uh, back to being against the players. I, yes. I pointed this out back when you were only a player. Now that you're a DM again, it's so obvious. <laughs> I'm also trying to get myself focused uh, on the uh, rule set of the game. Now, remind me, what does the superior weapon cost? Custom- I know I can look at the fucking page, but I think it's plus one damage and plus one advantage on every. Yeah. Okay. Everything. Yeah, things real good. Cool. It it makes them really good. So yeah, I'm uh, starting with that, and on top of that, I uh, I need Lana to look into laminate armor. You know I'm going to fail. <laughs> I you yeah, have every time so far, um, and superior armor customization. I want to go for it. I I'm- need to know a number. Whatever Let's see, there are five and six normally. 
laminate armor that would be taken down from uh, rarity 5 to rarity 1, which I think is also still simple. So it's rarity 2, I thought. Laminate armor? That's not rarity 2. What, no, 2 rarity 2. We're getting a minus 3. No, you're getting uh, a minus, minus four. 4. Oh, okay. Never mind that. Grimace we're, was correct. Okay. I, I, I actually thought we were getting a minus 3, too, and I was just doing the math wrong. We'll take it. <laughs> I don't know. I think, so... it's, I think it's only minus three. So five minus three is, uh, we'll go with two, which would be one purple. And then sure, the uh, six will be brought down to a three, which is how many purple? Two, no, that's still one. Okay, so I need you to make two one purple rolls. Two one purple rolls. Oh. Thank you for telling me that, Steve. There's one. Hallelujah! Looks like uh, you got your laminate armor with the superior armor customization. All right. So Jay's gonna... gonna get himself skinned. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. <laughs> I think we do need the uh, destiny pool done as well. I'll do that in a second. It's a, it's a good thing that we have all of these days for you to get this done. Then. Yep. Yeah. Where, where um, as far as ship upgrades go. The only ones I remember off the top of my head was the shield generator. Um, there was something from Flying so, Cool I think you were looking at. Yeah, there's the cloak smuggling compartments. The upgraded comms array is one that I feel is probably really good, but I don't, I don't know if we're using the mechanics closely enough for it to matter. Upgraded and, uh, comms array. Shield, shield generator. The shield generator is probably one you might want. All right, uh, let's look into that shield generator thing. I don't know what, like, do you, I don't even know what the fuck. Let me take a look at the. It's a reinforced shield generator. It costs thirty eight hundred rarity five, so it'll be rarity two here. Oh, two wow. hard points. It's not as expensive as I thought it would be. No, it, it increases the shield defensive zone by one, and then you can modify it twice to add two more. Okay. If if we can manage to succeed on both of those, we would technically have five shield total on the ship. I would be up for uh, spending the uh, the ship credits on a reinforced shield generator if you can find one here. That's a goodly amount of uh, production. There. I know. Train agrees. I'm glad Train right. agrees. Train is Train is the arbiter of everything in this game. Best player. Train's pretty on top. Yeah, train Train brought his dice and everything. He's ready to go. Always definitely, honest. definitely found it. <laughs> yeah, you found I'm it. I'm pretty sure they just gave me one that was pre-modded. Like, with those advantages, the price is docked. Uh, let's just say it's docked down by 10. percent All right, so that's minus 380. So 34.50, I believe. 34.20. 20. 20. You found it, and you were really good at negotiating for it. Let me just put you that way. 29. 025 minus 3420 equals that much. <laughs> now, if that if Lissa's actually able to succeed on two mod checks in a row, this would be great. Uh, succeed. That's that's a funny notion. Use all the destiny points. All of them? <laughs> Including the black one. Just all. How all much do, uh, modific do modifications cost, like, 100 and 200 the same as, like, modifications for weapon and armor cost, or what? I think they do. No, I think it's more. Uh, let me take a look at the top um, of the chapter. Yeah, it's 1,000, 2,000, et cetera, for vehicle things, so it would be a lot more to mod it. Okay. Well, we can try at least the one. Uh, then spending a thousand of the ship credits, which I can dock mm -hmm. uh, for a re CAG mod, and that would necessitate a roll, I believe, with three purple. I'm pretty sure that yeah, that's right. I don't know if it's two or three for the first mod. It's been so long. Let's see here. Uh, it is three purple, unless it's different for starships and vehicles. Uh, nope, it's three purple. Hey, I think it's just three purple, period. Unless there's like a talent you have that can lower it. Yep, or... three, it would be three purple. Uh, three purple mechanics check from Chris. Uh, 
All you right. can have your normal boost. If, uh, you can have your boost from people. As, as an option, since we are in such a like commercially flush world, would we be able to pay somebody to just do both modifications guaranteed? And if so, how much would that cost? Mm, probably cost more than you actually doing the modification yourself. Which, well, well I right. assumed that much. <laughs> You're looking at probably another thousand credits. So, like, basically, a thousand it, credits total to guarantee both of them. So instead of like one. one thousand and two thousand, we'd be paying two thousand and three thousand. Yes. Okay. I would. It's basically that worthwhile. It's basically sounds, it's basically you're paying for some what you're paying for specialized decision. You pay bleh, specialized I, help. I would I be willing. Worth it. I would be. Yeah, that sounds yeah, worthwhile. Then. Okay. I will. Dodge I don't trust the, luck. Uh, well, you're not just paying for uh, specialized help. You're also basically paying for them to replace it if they fuck it up. Okay. So instead of 6,800, it would be 8,800 total. I'd say that's worthwhile, yeah. Yeah, I've uh, already docked the uh, the extra from... Uh... Already got it. Already got it. <laughs> so why don't you guys add some cool weapons? Cool. Um, because they cost a lot. Because like, we're a nerds. Lot, lot. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. Yeah, well, we have kind of. well, we have twenty thousand six hundred and five ship credits remaining. I don't and know how many hard points we have, though. I have no fucking well, up clue. Upgrading the weapons, as long as you don't go to a different size, does not use a hard point. Let's so see here, you guys the weapons the are already considered to be using one. However, upgrading to one quad laser can, they'd be eight thousand each. Let's see here. You guys had the engine upgrade, which took one of your hard points. Yes. We're, so. we're currently at three of six. You're currently at three of six, so yeah. Okay. I'll actually, you'll have to edit your own token to do this if you want to. I'm uh, busy. Let's see, I have the Jax, I'm looking at the Jax Revenge thing here. Now, what the fuck does the shield generator actually already, do? I already uh, improved it. It had one four, one aft. I allocated two to four and one to aft. Okay. And or somewhat. if we want to swap that, we can, and we can also adjust them in, like, in as an action. Like you Someone push can, them all to one or the other. Yeah, you could. It's like power, power to forward shield or something like that. There's some. Yeah, I think it's like it's only like a maneuver. I think to do it. Okay, cool. You can swap it all around because, like, if you're running away from someone, you don't really need all that four so, armor. Anyway, since I have some gunnery skill, I I wouldn't be inherently opposed to upgrading the ship weapons. We've uh, been fairly lucky thus far and only had to fight Imperial oh. fighters. How much is left in yield ship fund? 20,605. If we wanted to upgrade both to quads, it would be 8,000 each. No what hard the, points. What does the upgrade to quad do? Well, currently, I think we're sitting at 7 damage. Or 6 damage, at, you know, but it only right. can fire once each. Quad... They do five damage, uh, same range, same critical. But the big thing is that they are a four link. So for advantages, you can hit up to four times with one shot. Okay. How does like link get triggered? Like an auto fire thing? No, it's, it's instead of having to do an auto fire, you just fire as normal. But for every two advantages you get, you can hit a second time or okay. an additional time. So potentially you could hit four times with it, whereas with our current ones you can only hit once. Hmm. You are good at advantages. And they do all they also have accurate one, so you get a boost. Cool. Medium laser cannons. I guess that's the same range. You have accurate link three. Uh Well, I am so fucking pleased with these purchases. <laughs> <laughs> You've been trying long enough to get this. Right? Right. I mean, I've uh, been trying long enough. <laughs> exactly. So we end up losing a point of damage overall and just the hope that enough advantages get rolled to uh, trigger more damage. But now, we, do, do those we count We lose as one damage per shot and we gain a potential 14 more. Because it can hit three additional times with enough advantage. 
Now, do those extra hits factor in soak all over again, or do they all pile in and then soak subtracted once? I'm pretty sure I it all think piles. That soak. Okay. Factors each time. Um. I'm not sure about yeah. that. You're hitting the same spot. Some weapons, like laser cannons, fit to the Z95 head and are designed to fire together as the same target. This increases the possibility of a hit as well as the damage dealt. When firing a linked weapon on a successful attack, the weapon deals one hit. The weapon, the wielder, may spend two advantages to gain an additional hit, and then it may do so a number of times equal to the weapon's linked rating. Additional That's hits from it. additional hits from the linked weapon may only apply apply to the target against the target's hit. Each hit deals the weapon's base damage plus every success scored on the check. So that would okay, mean so that soak would be factor in all the. Uh, it sounds to me like it would because each of them is described yeah. as its own hit. 